So good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is uh, Channeling Korea, and tonight is the 31st of January. So I'm going to just start with a short meditation to take um, myself down to the place where I can start channeling. So please join me in taking in a deep breath. And then let it go when you cannot breathe in anymore. And I actually um, encourage everybody to take more deep breaths because when we start to focus on our breathing, it actually connects our mind with our body as well. So as you breathe in and breathe out easily and effortlessly without straining, you just follow that circle of breath, of breathing in deeply. And when you can breathe in no more, just let go of your breath and start to create the circle of breathing in and breathing out. And let's welcome in our soul. And let's tune into our heart center where our soul communicates with us and just put a focus on the heart area and feel the expansion of your heart. And also feel the expansion of your energy as well. And then start to melt into your environment. Start to connect with your environment, with the people that are in your environment, and also all the objects, the inanimate objects in your environment as well. Because everything is just part of you. You're the one that created everything. And everything is a part of you. You start to invite to invite your soul to reach higher to expand further so that it includes everyone that is in the city you're in and then expand your energy to include the whole province and even the whole country that you're in and then expand it further so that your energy includes everyone, everything, every animal, every plant, 
every man-made object that is on earth. Hello, Earth. And when you felt the shifting of energies, the turmoil that is in your heart right now. There is turmoil because the old you does not want to go, but the new you is so excited to make changes. And the old and the new are just going back and forth. And that is the turmoil that you're feeling, you may not understand what it is at a conscious level, at a very unconscious level. There is this push in your heart and you know it. You have felt it. It's like there is something that is pushing you. It's just like there is this seed in you that is growing the new you that is growing and it is trying and trying very excitedly to break open the old you, just like any seed that you plant in the ground. It takes effort to break through the ground and be able to see the shoots coming out from the ground. And that's what you're all doing right now. You're all breaking through from the ground of the old you, the seed of who you truly are. In this new environment is growing and coming out, doing its best to transform yourself, to shed the old stories. And that's what's happening. And if you feel any kind of anxiety, any in the conflict, the real reason is because of that. So we want you all to feel joy, even though right now it may not feel very comfortable because growth, transformation, it's never going to feel very comfortable. So that's what we ask you all to focus on. Focus on the new you that is trying to come out to transform, to break through. You know that whatever it is, seems to be not looking right in your world right now or does not feel too comfortable in your world right now to just have patience with yourself and have compassion for all the other people around you because they are feeling what you are feeling only in their version So everyone is kind of being in this 
incubator that is applying heat, applying all sorts of transformation, all the energy is trying to help you. And know that you know how to do this. You know how to transform. So trust yourself. You may not get it right on day one. It may take you many days to get to the point where you feel comfortable. And I promise you, you will get there. Just that you're not there right now. So that's why you feel a little uncomfortable. And when you look out in the world around you, everyone is feeling a little uncomfortable or maybe a lot uncomfortable because it really depends on how much each person needs to shift. The more you need it to shift and transform in your life, the more discomfort you may feel. That's a great thing. That means when you actually do all that shifting, life is going to take you in a very different space from where you are. And at the end of all that discomfort, anxiety, and growing pains, at some point, you will get to the part where you actually feel, oh my gosh, how beautiful. This is what I have co-created with everyone around me. My life is so different now, and it's so much better than the old. And that's where you're going. That's where each and every one of us are moving towards. So when you feel the discomfort, we want you to connect with your breath. Give yourself time to just Breathe and check in with your body. The situation you may find yourself in is not, it may not be comfortable. It may not be something that you are used to. And change is always not easy. That does not mean you have to suffer. Those two are different. Change, transformation, requires you to be comfortable with new situation, with meeting new people, with incorporating new routines with setting up new systems for yourself. And when you're building, when you're building something new, you may have to put in a lot of effort in it. However, that doesn't mean you are not going to enjoy that all that doing, building, meeting new people, and trying to figure out new, new ways of doing things. If you allow it, it can be enjoyable. So set aside. Your judgment that, oh, I have to change. Ugh, eats. 
No, change can be good when you are open to incorporating new things. And just keep an open mind and allow new things to be enjoyable. The more you strike out to do new things, to incorporate new routines, new behavior, new character traits in yourself, easier it becomes. And you, yourself, the true self starts to grow from that process. Just go with the flow and enjoy. Allow yourself to enjoy. You may be saying that, oh, you must be crazy. Enjoy. Don't you know what's going on in the world? Right now, it's chaos. So crazy. How can I enjoy this? Yes, that's what I'm trying to ask you to do. Is to look at the world from very different eyes, very different angle. When you can let go of the fear, let go of thinking about how all this is going to impact me and just Look at it from the eyes of a newborn, because that's really what you are right now. You are like a newborn baby. And you just come onto the earth. You feel earth. It doesn't matter how old you are right now. You're actually entering new earth. The earth itself, the energy is completely new. And we are all actually trying to find a way to work with this new energy. So if you can just put judgment aside, put fear aside and actually just observe. It actually is quite um, entertaining right now when you look at the world. I know that entertaining may not be the right description for it, but from a spirit point of view, it is really quite entertaining of how some people are trying to work with this new energy and still trying to maintain the old thinking. And it's not working. And the more it's not working, the more they try to go back to the old ways and it's still not working. And this cycle of trying to use old ways to work with this new energy it's just not working out from a spirit point of view. It's actually quite entertaining to look at. And yes, I'm pulling your legs now. I know from, from your side of the veil, it is, it is challenging, maybe a lot challenging, or maybe just a little challenging. And no, we 
We're not trying to tease you. We're not trying to be cruel. We have compassion. And we know that, yes, on human terms, it may not be easy. But we just want you to zoom out and not be too hung up on the human terms. So we would like to remind you that before you took on human form, you too were in spirit form. And you too have looked and see situations that you will be stepping into before you came here. We have some idea of how entertaining it may be when you get here. So we would like to remind you every now and then is to shift into that perspective. When it feels like it is too overwhelming and you can't seem to cope, then just give yourself a little breathing room. Shift into the perspective of spirit. Shift into the perspective of a newborn baby and look at all the adults around you, or I should say the so-called adults around you, the so-called famous people, the big wigs around you. See how they scrambling, flailing in this new energy because all they are trying to do, trying to use the old techniques it's just not working out anymore for them. Just look at them from that perspective. And then when you are able to just get the different perspective, then if you choose to, you can still come back to whatever it is that you were before you make that shift. And go back into the trenches to feel all of being a human feels like. It's not easy. We, we totally understand that it's not easy. That's why we didn't do it. <laughs> because we knew it was, it was not going to be easy. And we also know that we needed some, a different perspective to remind you that yes, it's not easy. And it's also malleable, meaning that you can change it. It's not fixed. All this craziness is, is not fixed. It's only fixed if you treat it as fixed. It's only serious. It's only miserable. It's only totally rigged against you. If you look at it that way, and if you can change your perspective and look at it from the eyes of a newborn baby and just say, oh, this is interesting. I don't know how to deal with this mess right now because I'm just a newborn baby. But I do know that I can take in a deep breath and just let it go and then do what it is that I can do today or even just in this moment 
I can only do what I can do. And then the next moment, take the next step that I can do. And then the next one, and then the next one. And not look at how daunting it may seem, but just focus on here and now, and just take one step at a time. But look at it from the eyes of the newborn baby and not take it too seriously. Because when you don't take it too seriously, that's when you can actually change things. Nothing is completely fixed. When you are a newborn baby, everything is changeable. You can work with it. Maybe not to completely switch it around, but you can change it one moment at a time, one thought at a time. And when you can let go of how serious it actually is, then you can actually be able to look at the entertaining side of the situation, whatever the situation maybe for you. And then you can do that. And just focus on this moment. What can I do? Next moment, what can I do? And let go of the thought that I can do nothing because you can do something. Everyone can do something. It's only the thought that there's nothing you can do that's stopping you. You can actually look at the situation from the eyes of a newborn baby and just take it one moment at a time. You can shift a lot of things in your life. And we would like to give you this message because there's going to be a lot more very serious things happening in your world. I'm not here to pre predict anything. But spirit looking ahead just a little for you, for all of you that's listening to this. So you can see that there is some various serious things. Or let's put it this way. Various, there are things that other people want you to take as being very serious things that's coming down the pipe for you. That's why we want to remind you that that is just a perspective. That is their perspective. And you can adopt that perspective. Or you can adopt the perspective of a newborn baby. The first time you look at this thing that they want you to take as being very serious. And you can just look at it and just be entertained by it instead and decide to not take it seriously, but take it as a newborn baby looking at this thing for the first time and just doing what a newborn baby can do, which is just take a deep breath in and know that whatever it is that you need will be supplied.
And this really is the big message that we want to bring to all of you this evening. And so the next thing we want to focus on is really feeling the love. If you can tap into your heart right now, ask yourself this question. Can you feel the love? We can feel the love. We just want you to to remind you all to feel the love. It may not seem like there's a lot of love in the world right now. And that's an illusion. There's actually a lot of love. New overwhelming love that's being pumped into earth, into the whole universe right now has so much love. It's actually more love than anyone has ever felt. The whole energy, the whole love energy is actually gone to a whole different level of love. Feel that love in your heart and all around you. Everyone you look on. Before you see other things, before you pick up other things about the person or the situation, Feel the love first, because everything that is happening it is happening out of love. This love, this overwhelming love, wants to take all of you to a very different level of life. And in this level of life that is coming through, there is very little room for fear, for anger, for frustration. It is going to be a very loving place. It is like you're trying to be angry, you're trying to be frustrated. It's like, have you ever met somebody that no matter how much you try to insult them or be mean to them, they just look at you and laugh and just love you. 
That is what the energy is doing right now. That's what the energy is doing right now. No matter how much we react to life and try to judge or be frustrated, the energy is there. Just pump out love. And it's just not easy to hang on to anger, frustration, and disconnection anymore. Because everywhere is being surrounded by so much love. If only you would be open and allow that love to come in and carry you back. To who you truly are, who you truly are is love. That's all. That's all the energy is trying to do, is to support you to get back to who we truly are. Joy, light, love. Not just the closest words that we can find to describe who you truly are. Not just me, not just you or the people that listen to this recording or listening online right now. Actually, everyone, even the crazy people that are doing things that are mean to other people, trying to kill other people or take advantage of other people. Even those people are actually joy, light, love. They are just so disconnected with who they truly are that they are playing the role of the bad guys. But there is so much love energy around that it's going to wake those people up. So that's what the energy is trying to do, to wake everyone up to who we truly are. Joy, light, love. It's like a baby, a newborn baby. All they know how to do is to just laugh. Suck their tongue, suck their toes, suck their thumbs. When you look into the eyes of a newborn baby, there's no agenda there. It's like a deep sea of love. That's why everybody loves babies, because when we look into their eyes, that's all they are, and we see that. That's all we are getting back to. So when you feel overwhelmed by the craziness of life and just a 
let go of all the thought of being overwhelmed and just breathe in. Take a deep breath in. Just breathe like a baby. When the baby breathes, the whole body expands. Not just the chest, the whole body, the belly just come all the way out. And connect back to your heart and connect back to this energy of love that is all around you. It may be invisible, but you can certainly feel it when you take the moment to feel it. I promise you that. Because we see it all around. I know you are so used to seeing only the objects, but when we look, we don't see the objects. We see everything as energy. We don't see the hard edges of objects. We don't see the hard edges of one person's body all we see is just different concentration of energy. And we actually see this love energy that is all around. And it is getting thicker. It is getting more saturated. At some point, everyone will be able to feel it. And they won't be able to do what they are used to doing anymore. Because this love, when they feel this love, it reminds them of who they truly are. They cannot deny that anymore. So we would like to leave you all with that knowledge, with that tidbit uh, suggestion that when you just focus on your breath and just let all your preconceived ideas of what a situation you're in is like. Just focus on the energy all around you. Tap into the love. That the energy is trying to remind you give you a new perspective. New perspective to look at life on earth. It's actually enjoyable and very entertaining you allow it to be. Suffering is optional. Suffering is only there if you insist on seeing things only in a certain way. When you're open to shifting perspective, and life on earth actually can be very entertaining, enjoyable. And this is what 
life on earth actually is. Thank you for co-creating this evening with us, with spirit, with Mother Earth. With the entity that we call Kriya, and Kriya is simply a vibration, the best vibration, and the best sound that we can come up with to represent what this energy is about. It is Kriya, actually reminding you that you are the creator. We want to remind you to create from who you truly are. Joy, light, love. If what you are creating is not joy, light, love, then you have missed something. And we would like to remind you to thank you very much for co creating this evening. We love you very, very much. And we feel your true essence. So magnificent. If only you can see your true self as we can see. the persona that you have taken up, that you consciously hold, is not the real you. So far from it, you just play a role in this moment. And you are so much more than that. And now is the time the energy is supporting you to bring more of who you truly are, the creator, the creator, into this world, into your life. We are love. Thank you. And this is the end of the channeling. Thank you so much for co creating with us. Thank you. Thank you.